Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddy. Yes. What do you got? Is it a stick? Hopefully, it's just a stick. Uh, oh, <laughs> she ran into the fence. All right, Bird Watch 2022. Let's go see if we can see what's going on back here. So, if you guys saw the vlog the other day, you know, we have a robin's nest right here in this tree. I'm not gonna get close because the mom was just over there. But Jamie checked it. There's still eggs in it. They haven't hatched yet. But I think possibly today we're gonna protect the area around this tree just so that when the babies are born, we don't have to worry about the dogs trying to get them when they get thrown out of the nest. All right, we've got some fence panels. We're gonna try to go around the tree. <laughs> Why are we protecting the tree? My fear <laughs> though is like, this isn't gonna be far enough out if they actually try to fly. What if they fly over it? Well, hopefully they can mosey back to... <laughs> <laughs> back through it. Let's see. Yeah, we know, we know you're over there. We're, we're trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to us, we're trying to help. Memphis, are you back here helping? She's like, I'm just sitting under this apple tree, just watching. You're a very good helper. Your sisters are over there digging a hole where they're not supposed to be digging a hole. And then we gotta go fix that, but check it out. Yes, we understand that a baby bird could probably fit through there, but it would have to like waddle and hop and purposely try to fit through there. And they're not babies yet, so once they're babies, we'll make sure to keep a close eye. Hopefully yeah, we'll just take photo every day and yep. see. That's kind of my plan. Where they're at. Yeah, but this hopefully will protect them once they hatch and come out. Because baby birds have to fall out of a nest to learn how to fly. And then we figure if it comes down to it, we can actually stretch this fence from our fence across to here and block off this whole area. But we don't want to do that just yet. We thought for now, we'll protect the nest in the tree. Right. And mom didn't come after us, so she must know we're doing okay. something good. Why am I helping birds? Yeah, because they were silly and put a nest in our tree. Right? What were you thinking? If we'd have noticed it, we might have moved it sooner. But, but I did, and I have it on a vlog. Oops. But I thought it was the stuff that falls out of this tree. Oh, Whoa, look at the nest in that tree. Is that the other squirrel nest? That uh, could be. Can you guys see that way up in there? I don't know if I zoomed in the right spot. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, right there in the middle. Looks like a big old nest. Well, maybe that's her secondary nest for the squirrel babies. You two should both be grounded. This is not where we dig holes. You dug, they dug two holes, Jamie. Kira's like, oh yeah, we're supposed to dig over here. Yeah, you're supposed to dig over there, not over here. Get out of there, Memphis. You inspecting? Like it's not huge, but yeah. it's yeah, a hole. Yeah, it's definitely two holes. And Kira was grabbing that root. Oh, he playing Pulling grass. it out of there, so. All right, we'll fill the hole in. It is such a nice day outside today. Do you wanna go for a ride? We'll go for a ride in daddy's Jeep. I was just like, wait, for reals? For real? The look on her face when I asked her was priceless. She was like, wait, mom, for real? We'll go for a ride? Yeah? Kira's like, wait, we're going for a ride? <laughs> All right, we're gonna get these girls ready. We're gonna go for a car ride. Instantly with the head out, huh? Like, oh, it's so nice out. We're getting the girls their travel water bowl. Hi, how are you? She's like, look, I figured this out. I know how to stick my head out. It's pretty cool. And we're just gonna, gonna go for a little drive. Yeah, just get out of the house. What do you think? It's like, oh yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Oh look, we're magically back. <laughs> so we took the dogs for a ride and uh, I left my camera sitting on the porch. Yeah, on the porch. Didn't film anything and uh, yeah, so we did go for a ride. It was fun. We didn't go out long. We just drove around for a little bit. And we almost went back and got my camera, but I'm like, you know what? It's okay. We'll just go for a drive. You guys can envision it. What are you doing? Oh, eating stuff? Weird. How did I know? Always, always eating something, puppy. Memphis is way out there. Are you getting the pool all ready again? It's a little cold today. I don't think we need to be in it today, but... Hey, I got a question for you. So, a couple of people have asked in the comments, is the pool easier or harder to care for now that we have a saltwater pool versus our above ground chlorine pool? The saltwater pool is way easier to care for. Yeah. Yep. I knew the answer, but a couple yeah. of people had asked, and I'm like, one of these days I'll remember to ask Jamie that. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like uh, the salt lasts a lot longer than just adding normal chlorine. It was like uh, we had to add 
chlorine very often as right. opposed to we don't really have to add salt as often. Because we have, there's a thing in there, what's it called, an ionizer? Yeah. And it's it turns, a chlorine generator. It's a chlorine generator. So there's salt in the pool and it constantly like circulates through, right? Right. Okay, see I wasn't sure how to answer it because I wasn't sure how to explain it. Well, salt, <laughs> salt is sodium chloride. Right. So Chlor there's still chlorine in the pool. Chloride is chlorine, yeah. So it just makes it itself. Yep. It okay. just makes it itself, so that's why you still smell chlorine. Right. You just don't have to add it to it. Right. So it's definitely, yes, a lot easier to maintain. There you go, guys. Now you have your answer. <laughs> I made sure to ask him. I didn't forget. Are you over here living your best life? She's like, no, my best life would be if somebody bent down here and rubbed my belly. You mean like this? Oh, I see that tail going. Oh, now it's your best life. But you knew. You knew if you laid down here in the grass that I would come over here and I would rub your belly because I always do. You're the smart dog because you hang out here in the shade. She's like, yeah, he's a smart girl. It's not actually that warm today, but you're still a smart girl. Oh, you know, you have a dog bed right there. Is the grass just better? You have always loved laying on the grass. What? Oh, you want more? You want some more? I see that tail going. You want some more? Some more? Yeah. Oh no, somebody's coming to ruin it. Don't step on the Memphis. I'll protect you. Protect Memphis at all costs. Oh my goodness. They're gonna, they're gonna step right on you, aren't they? I'll protect you. I'll protect you. <laughs> hey, there's a giant yard here. You should go play out there. And don't bump into my Memphis. <laughs> yeah, go that way. Don't bump into my Memphis. Sh she's like, there's water coming out of this hose, you guys. Dad's rolling up the hose. You should just turn it on for one. Oh, it's on the thing. Never mind. Don't do that. Yeah, see, I don't Ooh, that was funny. Excuse me, mouth. Yeah, it's going to be warm. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Keep pulling it. She was chasing it. It was funny. <laughs> I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Ah, there's the puppy. I was wondering when she was coming in. Hi, Memphis. Yes, I heard you yell at me. What are you yelling about? It's not your dinner time. Went for a Hi. Jeep ride. He was like, wait, what? A Jeep ride? Oh, you, oh, you just want more You'll attention. More Always. <laughs> Whose fluff is all over the see, ground? You got, got some fur here. Whose fluff is this, Kira? <laughs> It's a pretty nice day today. Mm -hmm. Nice blue skies. Mm -hmm. Nice weather. We should be camping. <laughs> I say that every time it's nice out. We should be camping. Dinner time for the puppers. So the other day I put out a video where we said that Eleanor was all grown up because she was in her heat. And yes, she's she's pretty much at the end of it now. Uh, so she doesn't really have to wear the diaper unless we're not home with her or not with her for a while. Uh, but the other thing that we recently did is Eleanor is now on the same dog food as Kira and Memphis. So she's on, it's an all life stages dog food, like I could have been feeding it to her since she was little. But I fed her puppy food until now, so she's what, seven and a half months old now, something like that. Uh, so I fed her puppy food until now. I did the same thing with Ki hi Kira, with Kira when she was little. And Memphis I think I kept on puppy food. No, I think Memphis was on all life stages food. I don't remember. But I wanted to put Eleanor on a puppy food for at least the first six months. And that's what we did. And now she's on the same food as the other girls. Oh my goodness, what do you think? She's like, hi Memphis. She's like, I think it was delicious. I ate it all. Now I am still feeding Hi. I am still feeding her more than I feed these two because she's still growing. Believe it or not, she is still growing. Hi, yes I know. Oh my goodness, hi, hello. Oh my goodness, all the scratches. Yeah, so she is now on big girl dog food as well. I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna get much taller or not. She is almost taller than Kira. Almost. Let's see, still got some growing to do, pup. She's like, nah, I'm gonna stay the size forever. I wouldn't be mad if you stayed that size. You're just a little bit smaller than Kira. But for some reason, I still think you're gonna get a little bit bigger than Miss Kira, who is the smallest. Not the smallest husky we've ever had. She's the second smallest husky we've ever had. Smallest husky we ever had was actually Shiloh. Shiloh was between 36 and 38 pounds, full grown. Kira usually ranges between 38 to 42 pounds. She says, I'm just a tiny little thing. Unlike Memphis, who ranges between like 48 and 55. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was just like, look at me, I'm a tank. But look at you're not you're not so chunky monkey anymore. We did pretty good getting that weight off you. All right, I think these girls went back outside after they ate their dinner. Do you want to tell everybody good night? Say all right, you guys. That's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. Oh, be gone. And we will see you again soon. Say good night, audience. Do we get good night boops? Hega boops. Boop. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you for the boops. We getting our boops. She's like, no, one boops is enough. Okay, okay, one boops is enough.